Now we move on to bank loans, which are a very common source of business finance. When a business takes out a bank loan, it receives a set amount of money from the bank. However, it's important to note that the actual amount of money that a business can loan from the bank and the amount of time it has to repay the loan depends on a number of factors. Let's imagine you are a business and you require £10,000 to fund an upcoming project or expansion. Therefore, you apply for a £10,000 bank loan. The bank will receive this application and ask questions and conduct numerous checks on the business and its owners. They do this before deciding the maximum amount they are willing to lend and how long they are willing to let the business have to repay this debt. Bank loans are commonly agreed and repaid over a 1-5 to five year period, but can be longer if both parties agree. Therefore, it is classed as a medium to long term external source of finance and the interest on the bank loan can be set at a fixed rate at the time of the loan agreement such as 7.9% APR and this will be the set amount of interest that is charged until the loan has been repaid. Alternatively, the business may choose to have interest charged on a variable basis, meaning that the amount of interest charged on the amount borrowed will vary over time according to any changes in the market. When things are going economically well in terms of growth and inflation, interest rates are likely to increase to discourage spending and influence people to see savings as a more attractive option and borrowing as a more costly one. Whereas in economic downturns such as a recession, interest rates are often cut to encourage spending. Therefore, a variable rate can see the business pay much less in interest over the terms of loan. Yet this is a risk, if during the loan there is an economic upturn and interest rates keep rising, so will the amounts of interest the business pays on their loan. A key advantage of a bank loan is that both the business and the bank enter the loan agreement knowing the exact amount borrowed, the interest charged and the repayment schedule. This provides both the business and the bank with more accurate information for their cash flow planning whilst providing the business with a guaranteed source of finance. Also, there are no additional charges as long as the business adheres to the loan agreement. The cost of finance such as interest and additional charges are typically lower than many other sources of business finance. If the business is taking a loan to purchase an asset such as a car or machinery, it can match the length of this loan to the estimated lifetime of their asset, meaning that they can renew their loan and purchase a new asset at this point. However, there are a number of drawbacks to bank loans which businesses must consider when employing. One of the most important drawbacks is the bank's legal right as a secured creditor with collateral over the business's assets. If the business gets into financial difficulty and fails to repay the loan, the bank has the legal right to acquire the business's assets before the shareholders. Also, depending on the type of business, the owner's personal assets may be at risk. If the business wants to repay the loan early, they may also be charged with an early repayment fee and may also need to pay interest on the money that they never actually used. For example, let's imagine a business takes out a £10,000 loan over a 5 year period for an expansion project. And a year into this expansion project, they realise that they only actually require £6,000. They will still be charged interest on the additional £4,000 of borrowing. This same business then decides that they want to repay the £10,000 loan in full after 3 years. They may also then incur additional charges for not adhering to the full term agreement even though it has been paid back in full and early. A final key disadvantage is the time it takes to arrange a business loan agreement and the fact that the bank is under no obligation whatsoever to loan any money to any business. This is a real disadvantage for small businesses and startups that the banks may deem them to be a greater risk due to their smaller cash flows, lack of valuable assets for security or simply the limited history of the business.